In this video, I want to show you how uh, stress concentration can occur in a product in a SOLIDWORKS simulation analysis. So you see, I've already set up a simulation over here. I uh, put a force along a sharp line, and you can see the stress is very high in this section of the product, and in uh, all the other areas of the product, there are hardly any stresses. So what I did is uh, I drew a model and just a block, simple block of a. Uh, 100 millimeters in size, all three directions. And then I drew a sketch line over here to enter the direction for the force. So you can see I use it over here. If I look at the force, add a definition, I use this edge to put the force on and this line to create the force direction. And now what happens in a simulation with any FEM software, the, the force is occurring on a very narrow region actually it's infinitesimally small because it's just a line so it has no area so if you then put a force on this line then when you start calculating the stress you have to divide the force by an area and in this case the area is zero for this line but what happens is when i look at the stress and i show the mesh is that this force will be divided over the area of all these elements. That means that if you enter a, a stress refinement on this line, which I've done, you can see it over here. The mesh control, you can select a line or an area to mesh coarser or finer. So if I look at this control here, then you see I've uh, decreased the size of the mesh elements to three millimeters compared to the overall mesh size. So now if I look at the stress, it's here plotted until 0 0.1 Newton per square millimeter. And you see here what the the, the area is, the, the small area with the stress over here. When I decrease this control, so when I decrease the mesh size on this line, the elements will become smaller, so also the force will be divided over a smaller area meaning that the stress will go to infinite because the stress is calculated by dividing the force by an area if you decrease the area size and it goes to zero then the stress will just increase meaning that you should never trust the results of a, a, a stress concentration in a very uh, small area in reality what will happen is this force will be divided over a certain surface because of a little plastic deformation in this corner, which is no problem at all. But it is a difference between finite element element method and the reality. So if I decrease here the element size, now it's 3 millimeters, let's make it 0 0.5 millimeters. And I'll remesh. So I'll create this mesh again. You'll see that the elements will become a lot smaller still here. You see it's become very small and now if I recalculate this the stress will have increased a lot in this area so I'll rerun and as you can see just now we had a small red area over here and the rest was yellow now the whole line has become complete red because the the stress is going to infinity here the smaller your mesh elements will be the higher your stress will be so in reality this will be divided over a certain area with plastic deformation so in this case is a difference between the fem analysis and the reality thanks for watching